is going on guys just did a little work to the bike today you can see we put on a bat wing I think it looks a lot better with the apes and then putting that on I do not know if I can just loosen this up without draining the fluid but I did put some electrical tape on that brake line just to <clears throat> just to keep it from rubbing through or something like that so I'm gonna give you some first impressions of it I, I think it looks a lot better with the apes now and than it did before so yeah wow go ahead and put some music on oh Samansky yeah I'll look at it the other day oh, where you at so we're just gonna run and get gas cuz I had to be in bed by about six because well yeah I have to be up at no I don't want you I want my regular I had that on because of my brother. You. Ooh, white lightning. Um, but yeah, I, I have to be up at like 1.30. Like 1.30 to go to work, so. Okay. Oh, cracked my head. That's not good. I know I'm going to have to adjust these mirrors up a little bit because I may have to roll these control clams up a little bit too, but that ain't that big a deal. I haven't run this thing in probably two weeks. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to roll these up just a little bit. That ain't no big deal. Actually, that, that in and of itself might fix the brake line issues. So, yeah. Get down here a little bit. We're going to pave this in another couple of months. I know why I had to do them. I had to do it because of, you know, that brake line rubbing. You don't want that, but... You know, maybe we could sneak them back up a little bit if... You know, I've dropped my hands a little bit, but they're not horrible. They're a little bit lower now. Not a bad thing, but when you adjust your handlebars, you gotta get your mirror set right. I think we're definitely going to have to roll these up just a little bit because just a little, not bad. But yeah, now the, the wind is getting up to up to above my, almost at my helmet, which is much better. I mean, I got a little bit on my chest, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was before and it does also deflect more away which is you know if you're doing distance you may have noticed a dirty garage you know I just finished the other day getting the all the electrical done in my toy barn including the new pellet smoker so we did chicken on it. Other than the, uh, I, I got to play with it a little bit. The skin was like rubber, but other than that, it was it was good. It was good. I might have to just you know either hit it with a little you know Pam or something right before we. Yep. Got a little bit of bend, height-wise. 
leverage at the bottom of the shoulders with the top of the hands, which isn't bad. I mean, it's definitely better than it was. And if we can roll this back a little bit, we're making it put it back up. But that's the thing when you change handlebars, you get up playing with them for, you know, a good six months, four months, whatever, just trying to figure out what fits. thing I want to know is how many of you guys, if you ever change anything like that, where you might have a brake line rubbing on something, what do you do? Do you electrical tape? Especially if it's a black brake line. You know, hey, it's cheap. It'll, it'll uh, give you a little bit of protection. You know, enough protection for... Uh, you know, to kind of protect it from anything rubbing through, and yeah, you pick up a cheap roll of electrical tape for a dollar. One more week of insanity with baseball and playoffs, and then, well, from what I'm filling this now, which is what, the 18th, I think? Is today the 18th? Sounds right. Sixteenth. Today's the sixteenth. Now one more week of insanity, and then uh, we got playoffs, and then yeah, we're pretty well. I can start writing a lot more, which is what I want to do, at least for a couple of weeks until summer ball gets going. Must just be that one pump is acting funky. All right, we'll go to the outside. We are temporarily out of. Uh oh, are you even out of premium migraine? All right, well. Oh man, I guess I gotta ride more. Darn it! Darn it! That's not everywhere's out of premium and mid grade. That would suck. Hey, Dan, I'm gonna have to do a nice long ride and just go down six all the way to Ohio. Six, maybe come back on. I don't know. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good other than I bought it used, so it is a little bit dirty. But yeah, I think it works pretty good with them apes. Should have taken more gas than that. 
Should have taken more gas than that. Uh oh, I'm washing it. Yeah, maybe not. Fuel gauge might be acting up a little bit funny. There we go. Alright. Alright. Let's get back to the house. But yeah, this was just a quickie to get some gasoline. You know, see, it always says I've got three quarters in there, so I don't know. Must be the shut off of that pump. But, you know, I'm not worried about it too much because it's not like I'm going somewhere where I'm not going to be able to get gas, where i got to go 150 miles until I get gas next. You know, like, if I was going on set I-70 across Colorado, which, by the way, if you've never ridden I-70 across, especially western Colorado, it's a very, very underrated route. Uh, basically, from west of Denver, all the way to Grand Junction. Uh, yeah, you know, everybody says, oh, stay off the super slab, stay off the super slab. 70 is one of those examples where I say, if you've never done it, do it at least once. Yeah, these are tight. I gotta double check what the riser clamp bolts on our torque spec is. I thought it, I wanna say it's, it's like, 14 to 16 foot pounds. Well, that might be too high, but you know, that's one of those things. I don't want one of these coming loose. In fact, I may actually back these all out and re lock tight them once I get this set up. And yeah. Just to be, you know, a little safety safe because. They've already backed out once. Woo! M8 power! Okay, that's too fast for this road. Planning season's pretty well, you know, mostly done, but... So you shouldn't have to worry about any farm boys on the road, but... So if you like this video, be us a big dirty thumb... Wait, wait, that's, that, that's the other... That's the dirty thumb one. Yeah. Come on, uh, some sort of an outro. You know. Yeah. I mean, shiny side up, greasy side down is, you know, not bad, but... No, it's not, it's not a dirty thumb up or something, but if you like this video, give us a like, a sub, drop a comment, you know, if you don't like this video, hit the dislike button, but hit it twice, that way you're, you're doubly disliked. Until next time, which hopefully will be either next weekend or I, I don't know whenever it's been too long since I've uploaded I know it's just life sucks we're so short on umpires right now in this area that we basically have had to work every day you know including normally multiple games on Saturday which is no fun and I don't mean a double header I mean multiple sites